Hi Taurus, this is your reading for the 7th to the 13th of September and welcome back. I've got new cards here and they are uh, the Transparent Tarot. If you would like to see more of the Transparent Tarot then I suggest going to have a look at the review. They're beautiful and you're going to get a 12th card reading this week because I'm going to start layering. I'll show you what I mean if you haven't seen the review yet. First of all we have the Page of Pentacles. Here you can see a little girl with a pentacle going forwards, coming towards you. So you might be meeting a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn this week. Or you might be getting news from one of them. You could be getting news from a young person. Okay, so this could be about something that is durable and for long term, like a new job uh, that you've got what you applied for, a job, a hobby, membership, anything like that, or perhaps a message of love. Then we have the Seven of Cups. Somebody is just lying there dreaming away about what they wish to have or which goal they want to reach first. first. When I see the Seven of Cups, I always say to my querent, make a list of pros and cons and come into action to get your wishes coming true. It won't fall f out of the sky. You have to come into action. So make that pro and cons list and see which wish or goal can come true. First, this will motivate you to carry on and go on to the next one. On Friday you have the Knight of Wands. You can see the wand here and you can see KN here, the Knights. The Knight of Wands is also bringing you news this could be an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius. This could be news about passion. This could, that could be also not love, uh, like a pa uh, an, an affair, love affair, but it could be also about something that you're passionate about, like a job, um, like a hobby. Um, so you will receive news. Or you could be meeting one of the fire signs and here we have the Empress and the Empress means that the ground is fertile this could be to get pregnant or to start something new this could do could have to be uh, could be um, con coinciding with the news the news could be yes now you can start boom 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 and you starting something new this could be a job, like I said, or uh, a relationship, a friendship with a Virgo or with a fire sign. But the Empress also represents Libra. So you could be starting a relationship with a Libra. But the Empress also it represents Mother Earth, and that is fertility. So if you want to get pregnant, then this is the time to get pregnant. If you don't want to get pregnant, take precautions. She has uh, green fingers like the Queen of Pentacles that also represents Earth. She All the seeds that she sows, she will make sure that she nurtures them, care for them and let them grow, feed them, grow and blossom. Once they've blossomed, she can pluck the harvest. I will bring them down so you won't see the creases in the cards because they are after all transparent. So can you see the story? You'll be getting news and this could advance you or help you in making a decision which goal or dream can come true. Then there will be further advancements because this is the young person and this is the person that is in ad adolescence so it also means growing taking steps forward you'll be receiving news there as well something is birthing this could be a baby or this could be 
something tangible like a job or a hobby like I said then we have the seven of pentacles look at this the seven of pentacles she's going towards this person with the seven of pentacles the seven of pentacles means that you've sown seeds and it takes time to grow she's making it into an eight pentacle that would be recognition that for hard work that you've done so perhaps that is the news that you're getting recognition for your hard work or you might be advancing to a new study then we have the Sun and the Sun is shining on your dreams look at that and on you so that means that you are in the spotlight boom and one of your dreams is coming to fulfillment again the Sun means new beginnings hearing of a birth finding out that you're pregnant hearing of a birth this could be that one of your dreams will come true or your wishes this could be a child or a thing a job a hobby or perhaps you've been wishing to go on holiday because the Sun also means traveling moving home perhaps that was your wish to move home because you are expending the family a Leo might have an eye on you boom nice one another person that you can choose from <laughs> there's a lot of people in your readings Taurus so perhaps you might want to expand your business this is different for everybody so if it doesn't resonate have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign the reading but there's also certain things that you might need more information on because the Sun the moon and the star are sp uh, spotlights and whatever is a spotlight shines light on something <coughs> it's so also excuse me illuminates something so one of your dreams or goals are is being illuminated but you might need more knowledge you might need to follow a study boom there you go now we have the eight of cups here we go the eight of cups you could be receiving news about the eight of cups about this new start because you want a new start you're bored with the old routine you want excitement you want to travel perhaps or move home and you want adventure whoa nice one then we have number 16 which is the tower wow suddenly something is changing this n new beginning came unexpectedly as the tower means that uh, uh, unexpected change you perhaps you couldn't make a decision or a choice and so the divine stepped in or the cosmos and the angels and gave you this new beginning they decided for you remember life is always ups and downs it can happen unexpectedly but you did sow the seeds because the Empress is underneath and something has arisen okay great stuff now we're going to the third level right and we've got the three of swords look she's moving forwards to get to the make it eight of Pentacles and the three of swords is behind her so the troubles the sadness the loss of something or somebody is behind you now okay is behind you you have moved on and that is what you wanted with the eight of cups and also daydreaming and your daydreams all your wishes coming true but it is happening unexpectedly that's great that you are leaving that behind then we have the ace 
and the ace is right on top of the sun and the sun is shining on the ace of cups your cup is overflowing look at how it looks when it's single lying on its own now put it back onto the sun and your cup is overflowing with joy positivity because there's not a negative card in this pile so your cup this could be a new love this could be uh, something that you're passionate about or something that you can nurture something new so you will nurture something new and make it grow like the Empress and bring it to fruition that is what you've done with your dreams you've come into action you're leaving troubled times behind you are happy you have worked through this and now you're getting the temperance card you have found your balance you have found your balance here you can see the rainbow heaven and earth are connected you are you receive news or a sign perhaps from the divine or the angels I can also put it here like this your cup continues to flow over and the sunshine makes it as um, a rainbow now you could be meeting uh, um, uh, a Sagittarius because Sagittarius is represented by the temperance card and the news is beautiful and good and you can see the signs like a feather or a penny or a um, or a, a leaf that spontaneously falls to the ground that is the sign of the cosmos or the divine or the angels saying we are here you are in balance don't worry about this new unexpected beginning we decided you needed to change you wanted to change you've been dreaming about it and it's a good change and the adventure you will be able to start now but don't throw old shoes away before you've got new ones we are here for you and with you and the last card is the Queen of Cups now the Ace of Cups now you can see the picture it could be a Cancer it could be a Scorpio or the Queen is mainly Scorpio but don't neglect the um, the fact that the cups are Cancer and Pisces and Scorpio and it could be that uh, one of these water signs the Queen of Cups has nurtured you along the way and helped you to get where you are now or you could be meeting like I said um, a person from water the cups Cancer Scorpio or Pisces as the Sun is also shining on the ace of cups beautiful perhaps you were dreaming if you're not hooked up about the um, a water sign sorry about that perhaps if you're not hooked up you've been dreaming about the water sign there you go the seven of cups and now the Sun is shining on this and they are noticing you and they are coming here to bring you an offer unexpectedly as she's carrying the cup Wow that's quite unique so it could be a Libra it could be a Scorpio or a, a, because the Queen of Cups is Scorpio but it could also mean that that time the time in Libra and the time in Scorpio there's going to be a lot of big massive changes and it could be starting now Wow so just to recap it we've got um, the page of Pentacles that's Virgo Taurus or Capricorn you've left the, uh, the sadness and the depression of the three of swords the loss 
you are realizing now that you're moving on and you're moving on to better things perhaps a new study but you have got recognition you've got this new start that could be Leo I could have already started in August Wow or July because we've got the cups here and we're going to the cups again Scorpio and Scorpio is the Queen of Cups and we've got the Empress underneath there so that is Libra so the, uh, the beginning might have already the energy the wishing could have already started in July and you've come into action in July and you're actually seeing the fruit beginning to blossom so that you can pluck the fruit of your labors your hard work this is amazing you've been really nurturing this, this dream this idea and it's coming into the material awesome now I'm also going to give you an answer of the angels card and you've got do I no, a definite no you don't have to worry anymore the angels have heard your prayers your wishes and they have paid attention to your question okay you've got the, the salmon pink angel feather treat yourself the angels ask that you take some time out purely for yourself today rejuvenate your soul nurture yourself like the Queen of Cups perhaps you didn't nurture yourself like the Empress and the Queen of Cups and that is why they have given you this unexpected change so you will be the beacon to attract a partner if you're not hooked up and come back into balance awesome now I've got a um, card time to shine and I'm going to get a, a card for you for the time to shine and I am shoveling and eight thought oh yes I can self belief gifts throw away that negative thinking and that is what it says on the balloon here okay time to break free from negativity believe in yourself move forward positive new things well that is what you're doing that is what you've done you've taken the action you're leaving the sand behind you look at that it is behind you it's behind her back this could be you boom there you go I absolutely adore the transparent tarot I hope you did let me know in the reactions so take care Taurus and have a beautiful week please like and share and know that you're not alone that is definitely what is happening in your reading the angels are giving you signs so watch out for them take care bye bye